Well, this long country road in Newmarket is a dangerous path many residents of a nearby mental health facility take on a daily basis, walking along the gravel shoulder for at least three and a half kilometers to the nearest gas station for a cup of coffee, all the while cars zooming by at highway speeds. Well, drivers are calling police about this safety issue uh, pretty much on a regular basis, including Robin Jones, who almost struck down an elderly man just yesterday. Now, she took that incident to social media along with a disturbing claim about neglect uh, after what she says she witnessed when she pulled over to offer help. And then you see a fellow on the road and he was hitchhiking at his arm out. Um, I slowed down clearly and as we approached he, he kind of staggered, stepped onto the side, stepped onto the road so I had to slam on my brakes. Robin Jones, a long-term care worker from Fenton Falls, wrote about that near miss on Facebook. She was nearly brought to tears when she pulled over to help the elderly man, who she says was filthy and clearly in distress. He was spoke broken English. He was in pajamas. Um, the back of his pants were covered right to his feet in dried feces. And there's another resident wandering like aimlessly throughout like the brush and forest. Like there was like logs and like it was not like a walkable path mm -hmm. um it was clear that he had been falling down because his knees were wet he was muddy um he, his hands were cut Comments on Robin's Facebook page started pouring in with locals here in New Market voicing similar concerns. And I've had several people comment that one woman says she doesn't even go past there. She doesn't even use that route anymore because she's so afraid she's going to hit somebody. And then Lori contacted City News, stunned by what she had read online. Her father, who has now passed away, was once a resident at this facility and also wandered along that dangerous road. Well, I think that somebody needs to be monitoring them very closely. That was my thing that I asked for when all this happened was how are they getting out? How are they not knowing where their residents are? Um, when I would go visit my father, they didn't know half the time where he even was. The Newmarket residence is described online as an independent living facility for men and women with mental health issues. It's a privately run business that is licensed by York Region. The head of this facility would not talk on camera and would only say this is not a lockdown environment, so residents are free to come and go as they please. They claim to have had four staff members on site last night. Here they have 82 beds, but say only about 50 people live here. Year, residents are supposed to sign out when they leave, but often just walk away on their own. The calls that we would typically receive uh, in the area that you're talking about would be a check welfare call. So people, uh, it's kind of a rural environment and there be people walking down the side of a road. Davis Drive there, the speed limits are pretty high. I think it's 80 kilometers per hour uh, in that zone. And sometimes the people are walking right on the gravel shoulder. There's no sidewalk for them. York Region Police tell me they do get regular calls about safety issues in this area, but there's not much they can do. Most of these calls are from residents. Uh, leaving that facility. Yeah, there is a facility there that uh, houses uh, numerous people uh, mm -hmm. and uh, like most facilities, they're available to come and go as they please. So uh, if they do choose to walk on the roadways, our officers will remind them to be sure to be careful, stay off to the side of the road as much as they possibly can. Now, as for the second man that Robin says she saw, uh, you know, was scrummaging or, or walking through the brush, who was muddy and bleeding, uh, the head of the Newmarket residence tells me that they did uh, talk to that man. They inspected him. They claim he was not dirty and did not have a scratch on him. Now, when it comes to oversight, the region of York tells me there is no mandate or legislation required when it comes to the number of inspections at a place like the Newmarket residence. They typically do inspect four times a year and less concerned concerns are raised to do it more frequently. Now, a number of City News viewers did contact us about this story. If you have something you'd like us to look into or something you would like to share with us, here's how you can reach us.